Welcome to Yoga For You. With your host, Anna Del Rosal, Certified Yoga Teacher. Yoga is not a substitute for medical attention, examination, diagnosis, or treatment. Please check with your doctor before beginning any exercise regimen, especially if you recently had surgery, are pregnant, or postnatal. If at any moment something doesn't feel right, please stop. It's important to listen to your body. I will provide detailed instruction as you move in and out of poses to ensure your safety. If you have any questions, contact your local yoga teacher or studio. Thank you for tuning in. Have a blessed day. Welcome to Yoga For You with Anna. Today, it's going to be one of those little sweet inspirations, and we're going to work on the quads or releasing the quads. They can take so much with just if you've been out skiing and snowboarding or snowshoeing, hiking. So we're just going to get right into these muscles, and you're going to start by laying down on your stomachs, please. So just come straight down and come up onto your forearms, actually. And I want you here to lengthen your tailbone towards your heels. So as you do that, you're um, feeling that lower glute engage and you're feeling your lower belly lift. And then from here, bend one knee. So um, you can take your right arm in front of you, bend your left knee, reach back and grab your left foot. So you can stay here, just drawing the foot towards your heel. If you have more flexibility, just draw that heel towards your bottom. And you can also just come down and rest your forehead on your hand and really just focus on the quad stretch. You'll get a back bend here, but it's really about the front of the thigh and releasing this muscle or this muscle group. There's four quad quadriceps here. And they all, their main function is to bend the knee. There's one, the rectus femoris, which um, bends the hip as well, brings the thigh chest, the thigh towards your chest. So two more breaths here. Good. And then release, take the opposite hand in front. So take that hand in front of you, bend the opposite knee, reach back. So you might just be here and that might be enough. So you're really just listening to your body and doing what you can. And making sure that the front hip point is down so you're not lifting the hip point. Lengthen the tailbone towards your knee so it really opens up the pelvis, the front of the hip. Good, take two more breaths. and then slowly release. Come up onto your hands and knees. And just take a round of cat-cow. So push the floor away, arching your back. Let your head drop. Inhale, lift your heart. Good, just two more like that. So exhale, push the floor away. Press the heels of the hands into the mat. Inhale, lift. And last one. Exhale, push. And inhale, come up. Good. So step your right foot forward, please. Wiggle it so it's between your hands, and then bring both hands to your right thigh. So I want you to actually come up right to 90. So your hip, your shoulders over your hip. Tuck your tailbone. And I want you to press into this left knee or your back knee and push it really into the floor and think of isometrically dragging it forward. So it's not moving, but you're feeling that thigh engage. And then you're going to just exhale and release and come into the lunge. So you're going to inhale, come back up, press into the knee, drag it forward. You feel the muscle engage, and then release. So just just helps to activate the muscle, but then also help really teach it how to release. Last time, press into the knee, drag it forward, and come in. So it's called PNF stretching, proprioceptive feedback stretching. And just really bring your weight forward into that front foot. So you're getting a deep stretch through that back quad. Maybe even through the top, the pelvis. 
And if you need to put padding under your front, your knee, feel free. Good, one more breath. Good, and then slowly release, hands down, switch sides. So step that front foot forward, back foot forward. Where's the front foot, foot back, back foot forward. And come up. All right, so come up back to 90. Shoulders over your hips. Press into that back thigh. Drag the knee forward and feel it engage and then release. And again, come up. Press into the knee, just slide it forward and then release. Last one. Press into the knee, drag it forward and then release. Couple deep breaths here. So the more you drop your weight forward into this front foot, the more the deeper the stretch of the back thigh. Good. One more breath. Good. And then both hands down, and just step your back foot in. Inhale, look up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up to stand. And hands to prayer. So just sticking now, sorry, we're going to do that now standing up. So standing on your right foot, take your left leg back, bend the left knee. We're going to add a bit of the psoas stretch in as well. So tuck your tailbone. So there's no arching of your back here, but you're really tucking that tailbone, bending the back knee so you get the quad stretch. Arms up, grab that left wrist or the same arm as the back leg, and then lean to the opposite side. So now we're getting the quad stretch and we're getting a side stretch, lower belly stretch. If you want to see that from the front, it's like this. And the front knee is bent, back knee is bent. Good, one more breath. And then come up and let's switch sides. So I'm just going to step forward, step the opposite foot back, bend that back knee. So you're already now feeling this tug into the back thigh, into the back thigh, arms up, bend that front knee, grab your right wrist and lean or whichever it is, the back leg. Keep tucking that tailbone. So you feel that lower belly draw up. Get two more breaths. Good. And then come up. Good and then hands down and come to your mat. So come to stand on both knees, tuck your toes, tuck that tailbone. So again, this tucking of the tailbone opens up the front of your hips. So if I were here, see how this closes it, uh, closes it off? Tuck the tailbone, lift your belly, hands to hips. You can have the toes cur curled under if you like. Draw your shoulders back, inhale, lift your heart. Just breathe here. Keep tucking that tailbone, lifting your chest. If the heels are available to you, feel free to take the heels. Just breathe. Good, and then inhale, come up. And just sit back on your heels. Knees together. Close your eyes. Good, one more breath. And then come up. So adding on here, so to co toes curled under, arms up. Again, tuck your tailbone, twist to your right. That right hand comes to your heel and you're just gonna look towards the floor as you take the left arm up and over and really just getting, again, this um, psoas stretch here. Keep pressing the hips forward. Good, two more breaths. Good. and then inhale, come up, and we'll switch sides. So twist to the opposite side, hand to the heel, reach back. Keep pressing your hips forward so you get the stretch, the opening to the front. Good, one more breath. And then inhale, come up, and again, sit back. If this is comfortable for you, you don't have to sit on your heels, you can stay upright. But just find a neutral position that you can just soften through your breath. We only have one more of these guys. Okay, 
and then inhale, come up. Curl your toes under again if you like. You can have your feet flat if you know you're more flexible. Hands to hips. Inhale, lift your chest. Lengthen that tailbone down. Press your hips forward. Lean back. You can keep your hands there or find your heels. Bring your hands to the fingertips to the inside of the heels and open up. Good. Two more breaths. And then inhale, slowly come up. Ah, cross your ankles. Come to lay on your backs. And just to take care of your back, hug your knees into your chest. Gently rock side to side. You can lift the tailbone here. So just rounding that low back, counterposing all that opening to the front, the back bending. And release your legs. You can go straight, knees bent. And just take a couple breaths here. So I know you may be tight on time. And if you are, just deepen your breath. Move your fingers, your toes. And hug your knees in, roll to one side, and come up to sit. So finding a comfortable seat, please. Hands to prayer. Soften your shoulders. And just take a moment to think of one thing that you're grateful for. Thank you for tuning in. Have a beautiful day. Namaste.